full price. Why? It's not like you guys fucking care what I paid for this shit. Hey, I'm back in another position. Uh, my name's Jasmine. This is part of my imagination. And today I'm going to be doing my March book haul. I know I have a quote unquote March book haul. I'm going to change the title to February. But this is the end of the March. End of the March. Wow. End of March. And the reason why I'm doing it a week into March is because I absolutely plan on not buying any more books. I refuse to buy any more books. I have bought enough. I need to go back onto... I'm not going to go back on a ban. Um... I'm gonna go back on to what I originally had. I will link the video up a t up here somewhere, whatever, in the eye or whatever, or in the description box below. But basically, in a nutshell, every 10 books that I read, I can buy one new book or two used books. I'm gonna go back to that. Um, I was doing really well for the first like four, three months, and then I kind of just like splurged out, and then I never stopped. So I think at this point I need to stop buying books um, and I just need to get through my books or I need to give away books. So yes. Anyways, this is my book haul. So let us just get into it. Okay, also before I get started, I did buy all these books from Half Price Books um, here out in Tacoma. So I didn't buy any of these books brand new. Um, they do sell brand new books there. Um, but they're still not full price as if I went to Barnes & Noble. So, yeah. Okay, the first three books that I have are The Red Queen, War Storm, and Cruel Crown by Victoria, Victoria Aviard. Um, yes, I believe this is the first one. This is the third one. I already have King's Cage. And obviously, this is, a novel this is a novella. I don't know anything about this series. I have heard great things about it. Um, I always say I don't know anything about these books. Because I love going into books not knowing. I do watch a lot of videos. And I will listen to someone go, Oh my god, this is a really, really good book. This is what it was about. Yada, yada, yada. I put it on my TBR list on Goodreads. And then I forget what they're about. So, I'm obviously, um, yeah, I don't know. I picked them up. They were, they were cheap. This one was $3.49. I took the tags off of them before thinking that I should keep them on here so you can see how much I paid. Um, but I think I paid, like, maybe four bucks for each one of these ones, which is that. Okay, and the next book I picked up was, um, The Seeds of America. It's a trilogy, Ashes, by Lori... Paisley Anderson. Don't know what this book is about. I, obviously, I paid $6.99 for it. Listing price was $16.99. Ooh. All right, and the next book I picked up was Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. Um, this is supposed to be... I believe this is the fanfic... I don't know where to look at myself, but I think it's the fanfic of carry on if I'm not mistaken like the author in here is writing a book and then fangirl is that book or it could be swapped I can't remember which one. um the next book that I picked up um is pen dragon book number eight by uh DJ McHale and I have never spoken of this but I read this back when I was I did speak about this. I just I spoke about this in my um, the largest bookstore in Washington vlog that I am actually collecting this series. Um, and yeah, I all right. The next book that I picked up is the Odyssey by Homer. Um, I actually did haul this already, not this specifically one, but I hauled this book. From the Goodwill. Untouched is brand new and I only paid nine bucks, ten bucks for it. So yeah, um, like I said, I've been getting into older philosophy and mythology and all this other fancy shit that I'm just like, I am so cool. And yeah, so I picked this up. Okay, and the next book that I picked up is We Set the Dark on Fire by Tyler K. Maja. I think I hope I'm saying that right. This is on my most anticipated 
uh, reads and I don't remember what it's about. This video is all fucked up because I never, I'm always like, I'm going to read about it before I do it and then I don't because, yeah. Um, I just remember and I'm reading here that she goes to this top school or whatever and that's all I remember. Alright, the next book that I picked up is The Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon. This book was $25. So I got it not for $32. Um, yeah. Uh, I don't know what this book is about, so don't ask me. Um, everyone's been talking about it. I really hope it's fucking good because it's paid $25 for it. But luckily, I can trade and sell books to half price books. Um, this was brand new, obviously. Um, yeah. So that's why I'm saying they sell brand new books at a used bookstore. But, um, yeah, I don't know what this is about. And I'm pretty sure everyone knows what this is about. It's not part of a series. Thank God, because this bitch is thick. Like, this is a thick girl right here. Um, let's see. How many, how many pages? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. What the hell is that? 800 and something. If you read the acknowledgments, then 830. So, yeah. <laughs> the next book that I picked up is The Giving Tree by Shel Silverstein. Obviously, you guys know by now that I am collecting his poetry books. Alright, the next book that I have is... Maya Angelou by Miles Sharpie. Um, this is kind of like a autobiography and poet um, book. And it's basically about Maya. Um, yeah. There was... I paid $5 for it. Um, there, but there was a section of like just different black Americans... Um, this is a series of Black Americans of Achievement, um, and this was created by Cornetta Scott King, so Martin Luther King's wife, um, but yeah, it's just basically, a, there were tons of them, but it was a series of different Black, um, activists and just people that achieved phenomenal things that were African American. Okay, and the last book that I have is Elected Children March by Monica Clark Robinson, illustrated by Frank Morrison. Um, I paid nine dollars for this book. Um, and yeah, this is kind of self explanatory. Um, it's probably about kids marching. Um, it could have to do with, if I know correctly, it's about back, like back in the day but it turned them into kids just to go over civil rights and things like that this book is normally $18 and I have been wanting to get it but I didn't want to pay full price um even though I should pay full price because it supports you know black authors so yeah that is the end of this haul I don't plan on like I said buying any more books I don't need any more books I need to read the books on myself y'all need to hold me accountable interrupt our program to bring you this important message okay so i lied but like we already knew that <laughs> and yeah so i'm just gonna show you the rest of the books that i bought um because i have no self-control yeah so um i went to my comic book store that's right next to my job it's like the worst place to be and I did pick up a few comic books. They were all 50% off. So I didn't get to pay a full price. Um, I picked up Gotham Academy. Second Semester Volumes 1 and 2. And I found this. It was uh, V.E. Schwab. The Darker Shade of, Ma or Shade of Magics. And I picked up the first four volumes. And uh, it's not actually in the series. But it's a different one. But I picked up Faith. Um, this is the fourth one. This is the third one, second one, and the first one. And yeah. I picked 
up Bear Town by Frederick ba uh, Backman. Um, I picked up The Hobbit, and then I picked up the second one of the Lord of the Rings. Next one I picked up is what is this one? The Perks of Being a Wildfire by Stephen Choby. I think I'm saying that right. Then don't mind the price tag. I didn't actually pay three dollars for it, but I got Nervous Conditions by Tice Tice. Danger. I'm not gonna try to say that. And then, lastly, that I got from the Goodwill was I was so surprised to actually see this there. Um. But I picked up The Hate You Give, and I actually picked this up for my mom. Um, spent some. Um, I picked up Intermittent by Samari Ahmed. Um, so this one, I tried to do the giveaway that they had on Goodreads, and I didn't win. So I just picked it up when I seen it. This is actually the first book that I grabbed when I got to the bookstore. So yes. Oh, this is Queenie by Candace Cardi Williams. Picked up a copy of The Gilded Wolves by Rashki Koshki. Um, I finally found Glass Sword. This was the last one in the Red Queen series that I didn't have. And this is by Victoria AVR. And the next book that I picked up is Fallen Kingdoms by Morgan Rhodes. And I have the third i think this is the third fourth fifth who knows this is one of the, i got this from the dollar store and i didn't realize it was part of a series we are okay by nina larue La larue La i think i'm saying that right yeah and the next two that i picked up was one and two of castlevania um i love i haven't played the game I, these are these are based off the game um I haven't played the game, but I have seen a TV series, and I absolutely love it. It's on Netflix. You should check it out. And the last manga that I picked up was the first in, yes, the first in Your Name. So I actually have the book of it, and I bought it, not realizing that it was the book. I thought it was the manga. So I seen this. I picked it up. All right, so the last two books that I picked up are children books. And they are poems. Yes, both of them are poems. And this is the Shaman Circle. Sorry, there's plastic on it, so there's a glare. And this is by Nancy Wood, and the painting there by Frank Hull Hullwell. And then I got Dancing Moon, also by Nancy. Yeah, that, honestly, that is all the books. Like, I'm not buying any more books. For real. For real, for real turn my debit card off or something because whoo no so yes i actually do have a bin of books that i'm getting rid of so i don't feel that bad but i've literally like replaced those books like probably two times over of how many books i bought in the last couple of uh m like in the last month so yeah that i just realized i'm talking really low but anyways that is the end of this book haul if you are interested in any of these books, they will be down in the description like I always put them. It's a pain in the ass, but they will be down in the description. So if you want to check them out, because I know I didn't describe any of these books besides like Fangirl. Yeah, so um, if you want to check them out, they will be down in the description. Um, I do... What was I going to say? Oh, I don't know. Um, yeah, so if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe i do not have an outro but like whatever